It's kind of strange because I did not meet Reggie. I recorded that and sent it through the internet. That's how it was done, um, which is insane. Uh, and it was a very rushed recording because it was like, okay, we have to, you know, get this done in a time frame. And so I sent it off and I just was like, oh, please let him love it. Please let it be good. You know, you don't know. I was so excited when I heard Take It Off um, because when I recorded it, it didn't sound like that, you know? Um, I mean, not the vocal, but the, the production, you know? Because it was, it was uh, the rough and then, you know, everything was created around it. I mean, that's, that's a lot of what Europe does as well is that, you know, in America, a track is finished and you send it to the producer or to the singer and the singer sings over it and then it's completed. In Europe, it's very different. In fact, it's a rough outline and then the singer sings on it, and then the producer does like a whole bunch of other stuff on it, and it's really interesting, actually. So take it off. You hold me, you're sexy. You do what you please. You want it. The, it helped start the question of, is dance music the right sound? And so it did open a door, for sure. You know, we've recorded a lot of songs that are very pop dance oriented that are more suited for the American audience. And we've also done stuff that's very, you know, electro dance that's more suited for Europe. Um, I've always said that I want to make two albums consecutively, which is kind of what we've done. We've made two albums at the same time. I think also because of the fact of the American versus the European, um, but uh, there definitely will be two to three singles out this year, so. Hopefully everyone will get the album fully packaged <laughs> with the right, the right music to the right, you know, the right ears and all of that. So.